Hey guys, it's me Ren and welcome to another tablet review. In today's video, I was given the opportunity to be one of the very few people to review Vague's newest display which recently just released as of recording this. It's the Vague VK1200. Also, be sure to stick around to the end as well for a very special announcement. So enough chit chat, let's just jump right into it. As you all know, I've been using Vague tablets and till this day, I still use my Vague VK1560 and they're finally stepping up to provide more affordable products for us digital artists, which is awesome. So this tablet is already ready for purchase on Lazada, which links are in the description down below. The retail price for this tablet is about 10,999 pesos or $228.31 in USD. So first impression, it's small for a pen display, almost like my iPad, which I'll compare the sizes later on for better visuals for you. The first thing we see from the box is the smudge glove, which I'm happy to see along with the tablet nicely stored in the box. Underneath it all are the other necessary accessories, as you can see here. I was quite surprised to see two pens, both stored in their pen pouches. The fact that they had to provide two pens is amazing. I tend to misplace my pen sometimes, so I'm glad I have a spare just in case. As for the pen's features, it's the usual standard pen. It has a very nice feel to it. The coating is matte, so it's very comfy to hold. And it has the usual two express buttons for you to calibrate and adjust later. We have here the greeting card. A cleaning cloth to help clean your screen as you should. Here we have the cables to connect the tablet to your computer, which is the HDMI cable and the C-type USB cable. The quick start guide, which I really need to use later on eventually. And here we have so many extra nibs and a key nib remover. I swear they provide so many nibs, which is insane. I don't even replace my nibs often. We got here a pen holder, but with more nibs to store in it. Like, this is already a lot of nibs, but I ain't complaining though. This pen holder also serves as a storage for your nibs and can go as your nib remover. Onwards to the tablet. It's a 11 by 6 inch display tablet. It has 6 hot keys, customized express keys, which makes your work process much easier and supports up to 60 degrees of tilt pen pressure. Here are the two ports where you'll connect the provided cables from your tablet to your computer. I love the design and its thickness overall. So these are the contents you'll get when you purchase this product. Setting this up was a breeze because you only have like two cables to connect them together. So I got no issue on that. As you see, the colors are way different from my laptop, which is good. The screen has an anti-glare design, which also can protect your eyes. My only concern was there was no stand to support this tablet. So luckily, I have my iPad stand laying around and it works just as well. If you want to know where I purchased this, I'll link it in the description down below. I contacted Vic if they have stands that they may provide, but sadly, they don't. So hopefully, they'll release one soon for this tablet. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna use my iPad stand. Stand. <laughs> stand. I'm just kidding. A JoJo reference. Here, I'm comparing its size to my iPad, which is 11.2 inches. The size of this display monitor is almost the same size as iPad Pros. So I hope this visual will help you see how small this tablet is. Let's move on to the driver. What I like about Vake's driver is that it's not separated per model. It's just one driver installation and no matter what Vake tablet you plug in, it will detect which model you're using instantly. You can download the driver on their website at Vake.com and just install the driver if you're either Windows or Mac. I already have the driver and immediately the Vake VK1200 was detected. 
Vic's driver interface is simple and easy to understood to map around. I'm just gonna calibrate the hotkeys or express keys and also the pen pressure sensitivity that I like to go for. As I test out the pressure on Medibang, it responds well and there's no delays nor lags at all. If you're worried that the cursor and pen don't, for a lack of a better term, meet, that is normal among displays and don't worry, you'll eventually get a hang of it. Of course, like most of my tablet reviews, I always provide a speed paint process. So in today's occasion, I'll be finishing my paintings, which is ya boy, Kaimen from Dorohedora. If you haven't watched Dorohedora, I highly recommend it. And also the manga is really good. I love the characters and also Kaimen is voiced by the same voice actor of Okuyasu from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4. As the speed paint is playing on the background, I'll be citing my thoughts about the product. First impression, it was small, almost the same size as an iPad Pro. The way it was built, almost the same thickness as an iPad is amazing. I like that they provided an extra pen. The fact that it only has two cables needed was beyond my relief. That means you can take this tab on the go and not worry about having the power cable and have so many cables taking up space and electrical port. I also did a fingerprint test and it doesn't leave any behind you can actually adjust the screen setting as well with the brightness and etc on the side of the tablet the pressure sensitivity is working just fine throughout this process it was smooth sailing and the hotkeys worked just as well the surface of the tablet was like it was giving me the feel of like drawing on paper it was very matte i suppose it was it's really smooth. It's not one of those like screens that is very slippery and stuff like that. It it gave me the feel that I was like literally drawing on paper. Now I'll be listing down some concerns. Sadly, they don't provide stands yet. But again, if you want to purchase the one I have, it's linked in the description. Or you can just go shop around any shopping stores. I don't know. The cable ports could have been designed to be in the left side of the tablet, but that's just for my convenience, so yeah. Overall, it's comfortable to work with. The size is just right if you're not into gigantic screens taking up so much space in your room, so yeah. And now for my final verdict. Would I recommend this tablet? Absolutely. I haven't encountered any issues after using it for about a couple of days and everything works and functions well you can take it on the go which is very convenient and of course it's battery free so no need to charge the pen love the product definitely recommend to any beginner artist and it's very affordable too if you're looking for a cheap display tablet who knows you can ask your relatives as a christmas gift you know wink wonk so if you wish to purchase this product be sure to check the links in the description down below and it's retailing for 10,999 pesos on Lazada. Thanks so much again to Vake for inviting me to review one of their newest tablets. So that is all for this review and if you have any questions, I'll do my best to at least answer them. Anyways, hope y'all are having a great day and see you on the next video. Bye! So welcome to the after video bit. And you probably skipped this part to get to know what the big announcement is about. But for those who sat through the whole video till this part, I hope you enjoyed the whole process and the contents this display has to offer. Anyways, giveaway time! <coughs> the lovely people over at Bake were very kind enough to offer one of you to receive your very own display tablet as well. Think of it as an early Christmas gift, you know? So here are the rules to enter my giveaway. Rule number one. Follow Vic on Twitter. All links to their official accounts are on the description down below, so you can just click on there. Number two, answer this question. What made you start doing digital art? Or what inspired you to do digital art? Yeah, something just along those lines. And let me know in the comments below and one of you might just win your very own Vic VK1200 display tablet. I hope this review was helpful for you guys and I'm looking forward to the giveaway winner which I'll be announcing in the next video. Well, I bid you guys good luck and stay safe everyone. Bye!